Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Hola! Yes! Not trying to fool you, it's moi, Mr. Wara. Welcome. Yes, you came back. I'm so glad. Oh, so did Mr. Snapping Turtle. What are you doing here? <gasps> you know what? I'm going to take you on a trip. Hey, you match. How cool you match the decor. Look at the green. Whew. All right, let's get serious, Mr. War. It is Go Math. Yeah, as opposed to that other program that never works called Stop Math. Yeah, we don't want that program. Go Math, lesson 8.5. Let's take a look at our objective here, our kind of our goal. Interpret division with fractions. We have an essential question here, which I absolutely love the essential questions because they're just so essential. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drum roll on that one, please. Here we go. It says, how can you use diagrams, equations, and story problems to represent division? You know, I've always wanted to know that my entire life. Today, I get to learn it. How exciting. Well, let's go ahead and unlock the problem here. It says, Alyssa, or Lisa, Eliza has six cups of raisins. She divides the raisins into quarter cup servings. How many servings does, uh, does she have? You can see that you can use diagrams, equations, story problems to represent division. The first question here says, how many quarter cups are in one cup? That, in, and that may recall, that might make you think of another particular program. Okay, and that program would be Eureka. We talked about like that one unit many, many times. Well, how many quarter cups are in one cup? Well, if we have a quarter, that means we have four. We'd need three more to make one whole. That's kind of a nice one. Right? Yeah, we need four for one quarter cups to make one cup. And this one quarter cup with a little hyphen. How many cups does Elisa have? Well, it says that she has six cups up there in the problem. Okay? Easy, boy. Easy. So, little fella, are you learning some math here? <laughs> anyway, so we said draw a diagram to solve. All right, let's go ahead and do that. It says, draw six rectangles to represent the number of raisins. Draw lines to divide each rectangle into fourths. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. There we go. We have our six rectangles, and I've already divided them into fourths because we were wanting to have quarter cups. And we show that there's one, two, three, four quarter cups in one cup. Now I have the rectangles representing the uh, cups of raisins. So to find six divided by one quarter, count the total number of fourths in the six rectangles. Well, that's a lot of counting, but I bet we could use a little bit of multiplying because we have one, two, three, four. So we're taking four multiplied by the six cups. And just like that, we get 24. Oop, I wrote on his tail. Sorry, my friend. Now, six divided by, and this is going to be the one quarter, assuming they want us to write this problem, is going to equal 24. This becomes our division equation. Now, so Eliza has, she's going to have 24 servings then. And that was her goal. Which is probably a really good idea. Just saying, too many raisins at once, not a good idea. You know, if you know what I mean. Oh, wait, what happened to my turtle? Come on down. Hey, we want you to come down. Oh, okay, I didn't mean to ride on your back. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Really? It was an accident. Okay, yeah, there. See? You're good. You're good. Yeah. All right, let's move on. Now, this is example one. Write an equation to solve. This is four friends share one quarter of a gallon of orange juice. What fraction of a gallon of orange juice does each friend get? It says we have to write an equation. And look, we're even getting into something called variables. Very cool. So this variable here is n. Now we have one quarter divided by, well, we write the equation. And this is the size of that, that group. So one quarter divided by four would fit here then. Step two says write a related multiplication equation. So one quarter times well, in this case, we already know. We don't know what n is. So if we put one quarter times, and again, we're going to go ahead and put one quarter. Well, we're writing one quarter times one quarter because we actually have, here shows the whole, like the whole gallon, okay? The whole gallon of orange juice. Now here we have the one quarter of the gallon. And of that one quarter of the gallon, they're going to share with four friends. So you see how we end up with a quarter of a quarter. 
And that's really what we have. And a quarter of a quarter means one one fourth times one fourth. Okay, or a quarter times one quarter, giving us one sixteenth because we just multiply the numerators together, then the denominators, and we get one sixteenth. So our variable n, which was our unknown, now equals one sixteenth. So each friend will get one sixteenth of a gallon of orange juice. Cool. All right, next page. Ding. All right. Thank you for letting me do this out. Okay, now write a story problem, then draw a diagram to solve. All righty, we have four divided by one third. Mm, okay, choose the item you want to divide. Now think, your problem should be about, about how many groups of one third are in four holes. So possible items could be four sandwiches, could be four feet of ribbon, could be four apples. I like the fact we have to write our own story problem. This really will demonstrate good mastery. So write a story problem to represent four divided by one third using the item you chose. Describe how it is divided into thirds, then ask how many thirds there are. Okay, well, they gave us some clues here. I'm an apple kind of guy, you know, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So I'm going to choose apples. And let me choose a name. Who should I put in this problem? Let me choose. Oh, let me choose. Thinking, deep, deep thinking, thinking. Why can't I come up with a name? You think I would have a name? How about Andrew? Yeah, I like the name Andrew. Uh, Andrew, I lost my train of thought. Okay, has uh, four apples. Okay, and uh, we'll say that if he cuts them, if he cuts them uh, into thirds, uh, how many apples, or how many apple slices, how many, how many will he have? Cool, yeah, I like that bright pink. Very nice. Hey, turtle, where'd turtle go? Come back, turtle. Where are you? You're supposed to follow me onto the next page, dude. Come on. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that, really. I thought I had the wrong, I thought I had this. Yeah, you're like, sure you did, sure you did. Okay, there you are, cool, no snapping at that boy, okay? He's studying. All right, okay, so now we have the four divided by one-third. Just draw a diagram to solve. All right, well, four divided by one-third, if you have four whole apples and then you're cutting each apple into thirds, well, three times four is 12. You write a story problem, then draw a diagram to solve. For example, three. So one half divided by five. Now choose the item you want to divide. Uh, choose the item you want to divide. Think. Your problem should describe one half of an item that can be divided into five equal parts. Okay, half, half of a pizza. Pff, yeah, right. I would eat that whole half. Sorry, you can't divide that for five people. Half of a yard of rope. A half of a gallon of milk. Okay. Write a story problem to represent one half divided by five using the item you chose. Describe how it is divided into five equal parts. Then ask about the size of each part. I say that that way because it seems like this is repeating a lot. Okay, same items. Write a story problem to represent a half divided by five using the item you chose. This is the same. Describe how it is divided into five equal parts. Then ask about the size of each part. Okay, my brain is spinning now. Uh-oh. All right, so to do a word problem, well, what am I going to pick? Well, you know what? As much as I really, really love pizza, I am going to use the pizza problem. Let's share, you know? Sharing is caring. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a name because my problems will be about a person. Let me see here. Um, who would be most willing? I know. Cassandra. Wouldn't she be willing to share her pizza, her half a pizza? I would hope so. Cassandra says she has one half of a, I was going to put scrumptious pizza. Okay, we'll just put pizza. Uh, make it a little bit faster. A little lines there just so that you don't get confused if they're number twos. Kind of a habit I have. Okay, so Cassandra has half of a pizza. It says that she, you know, she, she wishes, yeah, she wishes to share her pizza with, what do you know, with five friends. That's right. Friends are to the end. Okay, and so my question has to be, so so what fraction of, of pizza uh, will each friend receive? 
And of course, that's a question mark. Now, draw a diagram to solve. Well, I have to actually show a diagram as well. Draw a diagram. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. So my diagram uh, will look like this. And voila. There's my pizza. I went with the whole circle for my pizza. So now I'm looking at it. And I'm saying, now here's my half a pizza. The half a pizza that I have is right here. This here is not. And so I'm dividing that half a pizza by five. These basically represent the other part of the pizza that was not, well, was not even there. I didn't share this side of that. So when I divided my half a pizza in five, because this is my whole, the whole unit of pizza, this whole pizza has actually been divided into tenths. If I have five here, I have ten here. That would mean that each slice of pizza here represents one tenth. And I can write by one tenth here. Two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Even though this was the halfway mark of the pizza, one slice of that half becomes one tenth. So one half divided by five is going to equal one tenth. And I can always check my work on that. That's equal to, and I can take my one tenth multiplied by five. Okay, that becomes one times five over ten, which is five over ten which we recognize as being one half. And there you go. Isn't that just wonderful? And where's my turtle? Turtle dude, snapping turtle, where are you? I'm sorry, friends. It's another end to a math video, and I guess the turtle is going to have to. Ooh, boy, he's pretty good. He got underneath the letters. Anyway, it's time to sign off. My friends, my jungle friends, as always, live long and prosper. 